What is good stuff, family? It's Ray J back with another video. And this one breaking down what's going on with Tesla, Spot, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. And break down what's happened to the market thus far, which you should be watching for as time progresses, what the news is saying about Tesla and how the economic calendar could affect it. And before I break anything down all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to six free stocks. If you deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks plus six months of level two data. And putting in $25,000 or more guarantees you 70 free stocks plus 12 months of level two data. The offer has been extended. It ends in just one more day. So tomorrow is the last day until this offer officially ends. So check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with Tesla and the market. So when it comes to Tesla thus far, I just want to mention that Tesla has been uh, looking kind of weak right now. It did make an attempt to rebound at this 254 level, but it's still barely just holding up. So we're going to be watching this trend line of support as time goes on. As a reminder, we had some housing data that came out. The housing starts were relatively strong, and this is what helped the market hold up quite decently. Building permits were also as expected, and the market is once again kind of like pushing thanks to that. But the question is, What's going to happen an hour after market open? How will the New York Fed Treasury purchases from the 2.25 to 4.5 years end up affecting it? And also, how will other pieces of data affect how the market ends up moving? We'll be watching for this very, very carefully. Uh, and we'll be watching to see how this goes. Now, when it comes to some pieces of news affecting the markets, the markets are still continuing to hold up and push as time goes on. We're not officially done with this rally, and the market is still looking decent. There's some new news coming out that the U.S. military is going to just continue to protect a lot of these shipments that are uh, pr pretty much going on with commercial ships. Uh, we had some interesting things going on, and there's a very big necessity for that. When it comes to Apple, it's basically putting a freeze on sales for a couple of its watches just days before it Christmas due to an intellectual property disagreement. That's some negative news for them. There's also some news that came out about, uh, you know, the, the big settlement that Apple has to be a part of as well. So we'll be looking for that. Uh, besides that, uh, there's something else that's going on that's like too crazy. I'm, I'm seeing some negative news about certain founders, certain uh, actors getting into some trouble. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about that because it's not really that huge to me, at least for the markets. Uh, but when it comes to this news, Tesla and Mercedes-Benz are going to be compensating for the loss of Germany EV subsidies. And in order for them to do so, uh, we're going to be looking for a new new deal. Uh, on Saturday, the Germany, Germany basically announced that budget cuts were the reason for ending its environmental bonus as of Sunday. And with the subsidy, customers in Germany benefited from uh, the purchase of an EV. And that's once again some good news for Tesla. But they're not going to be accepting new applications as of December 17th. But Tesla has come out and they're basically saying, and this is like the good news that came out, uh, they're going to be paying for the entire 6,750 euro EV subsidy. And they're saying that Tesla is going to compensate for the termination of the government EV subsidy in Germany. That is good news for them. And this is going to be for uh, the vehicle starting on December 18th and ending on December 31st. So that's once again going to be some decent news. This is going to help them to push to reach their target of 1.8 million deliveries for the end of the year. That's some decent news. This helped Tesla try to pop a little bit, but overall it's still looking kind of weak. So what do I see for Tesla, guys? From a technical standpoint, if you look at the four-hour time frame, you can see that Tesla is continuing to weaken. We're about to get a PPO crossover that's negative. And Tesla has support now at this 250 area and then 245 below that. So what do I see for the share price? Basically, this thing is just flirting with this yellow trend line. Can we watch Tesla kind of like pop and we open and retest the trend line, this 252 area? And we'll see if Tesla tries to just hold it temporarily. But don't forget 252.5 and around 252 are where we have these key supports. If we get this break below this trend line, we have this gap to fill at 251. But we need Tesla to just try to get back above it because if we do get that filled, move we're going to be watching for 250 that fails us our next target is going to be all the way down here 248 so then we have 245 coming next but once again i'm not saying this will happen for sure we have to wait for confirmation first we have to see if tesla can manage to like bounce off this trend line or fail we're going to be watching that very carefully uh in my opinion 
It looks less likely we're going to get a big balance from the trend line. Tesla's looking kind of weak. We might just respect this trend line for quite some time, but there is a risk of it breaking down looking at the current technicals. So just be very careful to see. Watch 252.5 and 250 as support. If we lose 250, we're going to turn a lot more bearish. If you want to be bullish on Tesla, we need to break and hold 254. If we manage to do that, we could push a little higher. I think when we open, Tesla's going to push a little bit, and then it's going to start just going back and forth between this trend line. And then we might see a break later on, but we need to wait for confirmation first. So watch the yellow trend line, guys. Tesla's going to be looking at that. That's going to be very important support, and we'll see how that ends up holding. Now, as far as SPY goes, SPY is looking very, very interesting. This thing is continuing to push up, but we're basically back where we were yesterday at this 473 area. If we're bullish, you want to see SPY rebound and try to break 474. If we break 474 like this, this thing is going to break out very quickly and very, very nicely and make its way up into the 475s, 475.75 and beyond. We have to break 474 to turn bullish. If we're bearish, you want to see it reject very close to this 473 area, fail to break 474 and make its way back down. We need to lose 472. If we lose that support, we have this gap to pull at 471.75. Then we're going to likely see even more downside after that and make our way back down closer to like the 470 area. So if we're bearish, you want to see it lose 472 and start sinking just a little bit. We have a gap to fill below and some more potential downside. If we're bullish, you want to see it break 474 and hold above that and then start pushing. We need to we need to hold above 474. What do I think is going to happen? I think when we open the market might actually attempt to push just a little bit, push up a little bit, and then we'll see if we get this rejection off this 473 area. We're still kind of going back and forth between 473 just like yesterday. So we'll just have to see if it manages to break it or if it rejects. And we'll be watching this very, very closely. I'm open to both possibilities. Now I'm kind of like 50-50 on this. I'm just going to be very patient on this one before I make any entries. And sometimes the market is just insane. SPY had a lot of signals that suggested that it was weakening, but a lot of these signals are just not really taking place. It's just continuing to hold up and shop. That's why it's best to just be patient and wait and see which way the chart pans out. That's what I'm going to do for this one. On the QQQ, this is looking uh, in the middle right now. We're trying to fight 408, but we're kind of struggling to break above this resistance. If we do get a break above this, watch this wick at this like 408.5 area. And then if we do break this, I mean, we could get close to 409 and then reject and come back down towards where this like blue trend line is. And we could see some sideways price action. This is like the most likely possibility. But if you want to turn bearish, you need to see and break this blue trend line. So we have this like blue trend line right here. If we break this blue trend line right, right over here, expect this to come back down and come back down to fill this gap at 406 and eventually come a little bit lower. So watch that trend line as support. That's going to be key for the QQQ. If we're bullish, you want to see it just basically continue to hold 408. We're going to likely trade sideways around 408 for some time. We'll see if it could break, but I find this to be a bit more probable. I will turn bearish if we lose the blue trend line. We have this gap to fill below, so it is possible we do break down, uh, but for now, it's going to likely just kind of trade sideways around 408. For NVIDIA, this was actually as predicted almost exactly. So in my video from yesterday, I said at 504, we might get a big rejection and we might come back down to the breakout area at 492. That is exactly what happened to NVIDIA as predicted. Uh, now we're going to be looking for a rebound towards this wick. Could try to get very close to 498 again, then reject and come back down to 490. I could see NVIDIA try to push up again, then eventually just reject. But once again, guys, this was as, as expected from yesterday. Watch 495, 498, and 500 as resistance, 490, 488 as support. It's going to rebound a little bit. I think it's going to try to make its way back up. Then it's going to likely fail and come back down lower as time goes on, most likely in my opinion. And then finally, last but not least for Apple, Apple is in a critical state right now. Apple is trying to rebound, but it's trying to fail again. If we're bullish on Apple, you need to see a 197 break. If you break 197, it's going to push up higher for the 198.25 area and higher levels where these wicks are. If we're bearish, you want to see it reject off 197 and come back down towards this upper channel of resistance. It could actually start to retest this. And if we break you know, below it, that's when we could turn a little bit more bearish, right? We can make our way back down. It's going to be watching to see uh, do we fail to break 197? If we break 197, we're bullish. If we fail to break, we're bearish. We, al we already rejected off of it. And when we watch to see how it reacts to this trend line, if we lose it, we're going to be sinking back down to turn bearish, and 195 is going to be imminent. All right? So if we lose this trend line, 
we lose this line, we're going to come back down to 195 or below. If we kind of hold this and we try to push up, if we break 197, we're bullish. Otherwise, we're just going to be stuck in this range for some time. All right, so hopefully this is helpful, guys. Make sure you watch these levels. Apple's looking a little bit weak, but we're going to be watching our levels just to be safe. Once again, guys, SPY is at a critical level. So is Tesla. Watch support very carefully. It's going to be very important for today. There's not a whole lot of data coming up, but hopefully this video was helpful and it'll, it'll assist you at least on how the market's looking right now. All right, so that's what I have for this one. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Uh, test on the market to the moon because the long term is still very bright despite these short term fluctuations and uh, nuances. Have a great day, guys. Please enjoy what the day has to offer and peace out.